guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is JC. Today we're going to be playing Dying Light 2 yet again today. Um, this is going to be part, part 3 of Dying Light 2. Sorry about that, fuck up. Um, we're going to be checking out, we're going to be spending time at the Bazaar while I wait for Hakon. What I'm going to be doing is um getting some of these like night, night, nighttime activities. Trading post, survivor territory. Okay, um, I'm going to go to some of these places here. I'm gonna go to the bazaar real quick. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bazaar. We're gonna be doing some free, free running. <laughs> Fuck your babies. What did he say? Hey! Oh, oh. Fuck your baby ass bullshit. I will send you to Jesus. Bitch, let me get up there. Uh, yes. What the fuck was that? Ah! I forgot you can look behind. What did he say? Hey! Oh, oh. oh yeah, I forgot you could do that. You go this way. Fuck me, dude. Alright, time to get my ass up there. Oh, the wall running in this game. The wall running feels nice. The fucking parkour in this game feels fucking nice. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This parkour. Oh. oh, my stamina is depleted, damn it. Okay. No, I had it. Alright, I think I got a good start. I'm just saying the parkour in this game is amazing. Like it's legit amazing. I need, uh, I need to find inhibitors. And also in the patch notes in this game, um, they said they added more inhibitors, like 30 plus inhibitors. So yeah. Um. Oh. Oh shit. Just run this way. I want to save this first. Oh, Here we go again. Alright. This guy in Hellfield, he removed his biomarker just to see what would happen. Next night, he turned while the light was still green. Just like that. Oh, shit, ball. Um, 
journal. Let me look at my backpack. Um, weapons. Billy hook. I got 19 damage. I'm gonna grow a bat. I'm gonna use a billy hook. Here's my billy hook. Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt! You make me sick, you big baby! Seen something like this? What is it? Something fucking stung me! Okay, sit down. I can get in now because I have a biomarker. I can get in the place. Copyright strike or not, uh, but I don't care. The bizarre. Hey, watch where you're going. <laughs> what a day. No freaking way I can do it. Five years of learning hey, and all for nothing. The mood for some. It's a problem. Hey. Aren't you the pilgrim we wanted to hang? Nah, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, but he's slow, not very eloquent. But he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad. They give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. The electric fence. So what's the so problem? What seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see, as far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure, but it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever is left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Yeah, I'll see what I can do, but I, I can't promise anything. I would be very grateful. They say keeping goats. Hey, Aiden, hey, how's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. Oh, the jigs. Oh, 
I don't have cash for this. UV bar. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Want a snack? Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the Metro Technical Station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from Dark Zone. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. So I have to do this in a dark zone. That's great. <clears throat> dark zone! I haven't seen before. What does it look like? Not a, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them. But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this agent. Head for the tunnel. Alright, this is gonna be...
if you got it. Vines.
Finally, I got to this point. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnel. Fucking bizarre wrist trap. More like a renegade spy. <sighs> Doesn't look like a renegade. There we go. Interrogation time. With your, with your old, old good bow, but old pal. He's awake. Good old buddy pal Anderson. What, um, what, what are you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lot saw nothing, heard nothing? And you managed to forget about the ban on passage. Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. In our fantasy, we need the truth. And you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always Lucas is said... dead. And now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. <clears throat> Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. Freeway bridges collapse. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And there were that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My yes. wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. Haven't heard from them for ten years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, 
London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape from the central loop four days after the murder. Besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us. Even though we protect them. The outlands are dangerous. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. threats. And you came here to take shelter. I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, well, maybe I can help you. But not for free. Right. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. The command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. Could be. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. All right. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. All right, Look time around. to find the fucking answers. Ask people, and don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. I haven't seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. <laughs> Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, good luck. All right. Hey, hack on. Are you there? Aiden, buddy. Good you're alive. We gotta start yeah, I got caught and questioned. Good. 
They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. I ain't coming back at the end, bro. You must help us. Otherwise, there will be a rebellion. Shot here 25 at the end of the Civil help War. us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Then why won't you let us search your homes, huh? If everyone is so innocent, then there'd be nothing to hide. Keep your brutes away from our homes, Anderson. So you're hiding somewhere. Time is running out, Carl. You don't hand over the killer, we'll raise your precious bazaar to the ground. Sow the wind and reap the world. Don't bite off more than you can chew, old man. Aiden, come on. I'm on the roof next to the metro. Jesus. Alright. Let's get up here. Let's meet with Hakon. Hey, Aiden, over here. What did they want from you? Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer, an artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debts right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbazos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, Talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some of the leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. Alright, we gotta find that fucking Lazarus, everyone. Gotta find that Lazarus. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one to edit. I'm not even joking at this point. This is gonna be a fun episode to edit. Let's do the main quest. <clears throat> I love just doing parkour in this game. Man, I wouldn't give her a word that. Or a cold beer. <laughs> you said what we know. Not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. No one will be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do. Hey, 
You Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they want in a hand, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. W wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Yeah, sure. What? I don't think it's me you're looking for. Hack on. He's running away. Nah, sounds like Yubi. Oh, wait a second. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. He's not here. Oh, impossible. I saw him right there. That little weasel must be hiding. Look around. Oh, wait, I see him. He's climbing. See that GRE building? He's climbing to the roof. Fuckers trying to climb a GRE building. I know game. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear! I'm told that you're a fence. Hmm? A fence? No way! A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. And don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe.
How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on! Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. But someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. All right, BRB. Hey, hack on. You. All right, man. Someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlooked them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. Ah! Oh. Oh, you fuck. Oh, this left. ain't right. Are you out?
I need to find an inhibitor. Let me guess the inhibitor's right here. And this night activity bullshit. DRE anomaly. Yeah. 
bastard! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do this last part, then I'm gonna be ending the video here.
God, don't start fucking chase. Fuck you. Give me to the bazaar. No. Let's get going. Where's the inhibitor? The inhibitor is legit nearby. Indeed. 
gonna find more than Oh yes! Upgrades! Oh, hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. It was so funny. Maya ain't a grown-up. She's just a plain old girl. What? You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happened so lot, he was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass news of Watsits because I figured someone would be a good pet for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. Do you expect me to just hand that brass Hoozy What's It over? You nuts? The Hoozy What's It's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal! Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. I wouldn't mind. Give it a little bit to the kid. Like, come on. Negotiate. Uh, that's all I got. Alright, got the Lazarus. Hey, hack on. I, I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. 
Where is that fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Man, looks like a constellation on your own. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced the rules. They show our heart. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pain. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aiden, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I'll keep my promises. First, take this. Take the gratitude. Damn. Good ass what? Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there. And I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, the bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux, pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. All right, let's do this. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes. As a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. All right. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to be ending the episode here. I'm going to be finding the Good Lucas day, killer in the next episode. I hope you guys in... Oh, wait, quiet before... I'm worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Alright. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on notifications. See y'all later.
Peace.